Hey guys, this MBB Reviews, aka Chris, bring you a new video review of the movie trilogy of Deluxe Class Optimus Prime, including Mech Tech Trailer. So let's just get the trailer part of the way quickly. This is the Deluxe Mall, which was apparently a Walmart exclusive. Walmart exclusive. Let that sit for a second. Walmart. That's all I gotta say. Um. So. It had came with a gun on the deluxe Walmart exclusive. Well, this one. Was, a, was available at Walmart. Um. I know it was available on mine too, and also I picked this one up at Toys R Us while they first came in for only $20. Now they retail for like over 30 So, you can say I got lucky. But, quick demo. Let me do that again. Quick demo roll, rolls. Fairly well. Uh, pretty good deep paint apps. Uh, if you can't tell, half my paint's missing on the front. Anyways, it's kind of it's not shown in robot mode, so doesn't really. But it's I guess it's just one of my nitpicks that I don't have a good paint job on the front. But other other detail was it's very good looking. Um, in robot mode, it is able to, in vehicle mode, it is able to use its clips, the clip system. So that plugs in. Uh, it's kind of hard trying to see over the camera. Or myself, what I should be saying, but, uh. So yeah, if, unless you have the right one that fits in the right hole. And this is from the same line, but this is just from uh, the uh, Human Alliance, uh, the smaller ones, not the Bumblebee sized or the black Bumblebee repaint and black and green version of uh, Skids. You know, fully black, fully in small green highlights. Which I'm sad did not appear in Dark of the Moon 3, but, uh. Transformers 3. So, like I said, good detailing. Uh, good transformation, I gotta admit. But now let's skip on. Move that off of the way for a moment. And let's take a look at the actual trailer. Let me actually raise this guy up, and we'll take a look. So if you can't, okay, I really need, so yeah, here we go. So it's supposed to represent the trailer that Optimus Prime had in the third movie. Uh, if you buy these, um, sometimes, this is the thing, you got to match the you gotta match your lot with your figure. So this is the lot number here from when it was manufactured and it's number. I'll show you the number on mine. How they match properly. The very nice paint. The blue here. It's kind of the silver's popping out and that stuff. A uh, bit of bleeding right here but that's okay um you get one and two Autobots logos this is what I hate I uh, actually this is the side you're supposed to display it on it's purposely done that so you display it this way okay Hasbro I don't get you um I would just put paint lay out just a bit different 
uh, maybe I know you guys were trying to mimic uh, the way he looked, but your QC is a bit shit. I can't make any straighter than that. Your QC is shit. Um. Otherwise, fairly well. Uh, I had a few strip screws here, and that was my only strip screw, which was not enjoyable and <laughs> not funny. Um, as I showed up before, this opens. Uh, you would think he'd be able, able, or any deluxe house would be able to roll in. Uh, not at all. I've tried it several times. Uh, your best luck is actually with these guys. And these guys. So, the what would be considered the com this was a scout class, now called commander class. I have a commander right here. Yeah, Megatron is taller than my... Alright, I'll make this easier. Megatron. They're actually at the same level. This guy's only tall because of his handlebars, but they're about the same. But they only work with the vehicle modes like Megatron and... Dang! Another one, I forgot. But that's the only one to actually truly work with this. And that's only because they made it small. The movie trilogy thing uh, was their answer to... Um, how can I say this? Uh, everybody knows the crappy uh, Forge figure we have. In Japan, they had one without the chest booster. So it looked like this one, but better. Bigger, and it came with a trailer. We all know how Bumblebee has that little. Uh, how it, all of them, some of them came with a uh, the little button that covered up the hole. Well, it had over sixteen ports all around, with those little push things uh, allowing them to um, look as a flat. And those who were able to fit in deluxe classes. That was actually my favorite. I was not able to get my hands on that mold. Oh, I am so sad. But it was one of the better molds of that we didn't get released here. There's a lot of stuff we don't get released here that Japan gets. Huh. Who knew? Who knew our Hasbro was so cheap? And we do get some stuff they don't, so no need to complain. But, so, it's primary gimmick, you see the ports, is to hold mech tech. I have laser beaks mech tech, conveniently on the right, on the left side. They're literally designed so mech tech would fit in. Up to a maximum of three inside, well, to a maximum of four on the outside, so seven. And that's if you could get one that could fit in here without knocking into each other. Um, so, yeah. But I digress. Sorry about that, um, from the side to run out of memory. Yeah, not funny, but it happens. So, my text does fit in. So, Hasbro, thank you for giving us something that reminds us, reminds us of the trilogy. I thank you for that. But, engineering, 
your thought of action was smart. Um, but for the price it's retailing now, I would have rather you guys um, would have done the Voyager trailer with the Japanese version. Would have been a lot smarter to honor the trilogy instead of giving us Shadar Mesh Prime. And now we'll actually get to why I call, called it Shadar Mesh Prime. So, to start, you'll actually want to pull for the front of the cab. It's on a side joint. And you can't lock it in uh, once you have it in. You can, but it's... Actually, I was never able to get it locked in like this before. So this is actually first. So then you would bring this down. Spread the arms apart. Come on. Bring this. Now these would act. These are actually so. Once you pull these apart. Okay, so I decided to go off, but these the winch, the side thingies, the windshield, whatever they're called. Uh, the side view mirrors are gonna plug it into these peg holes here. So peg, peg, and so. Fold down the arms. Fold down the arms. Just let them out side because I'm gonna. You gotta rotate it 180. So you got like this. This is what's the annoying part here. Uh, when you actually have this, it won't stay close flex like this. It actually is gonna start gapping like that because of this little thing here. Because Hasbro did not think. But. I digress again. So you would. Now you would actually come down to the legs. Flip this up. Rotate. Rotate. Now you would actually untab it from where it is. In that hole, there's a tab there, it untaps from there. Then there's actually that peg that's going to groove into there. You want to actually press that against that so it locks. Uh, second verse, same as the first. So again, press forward and lock. Uh, then you just get to the wheels, to the back wheel, flip it, and it's going to. Peg in. And again, peg in. Bring the arms down, bring those down. And final piece the pop up head. You can just tell how much this figure hates itself. So I'm going to put it on top of this because it seems like the most logical. It's actually going to keep on doing that because of the backpack here. So keeping it closer to the body is actually what's going to keep it standing. So there we have... I'm wearing a suit that's... Uh, a chest sweater or whatever, a vest that's bigger than my than my body needs it. Look, Optimus Prime or Hedonimus Prime. I'm sorry. That's my nickname for him. Movie resemblance is close. Um, he's not like bulked up chest prime from the Voyager. But he's the most more accurate one to the movie which is understandable because it's smaller but that one transformation was useless 
So, he looks like that, and um, in this mode, you should be able to utilize these properly. Let me just see if I can clip him in. There we go. So yeah, you can utilize any mech tech kind of thingy. Uh, on my figure, uh, one arm, floppy. Not bad. I've had worse. Um, he also had some recent joint tightening to the legs. Um, and the best way you can actually do that is go by a, a named, um, don't go for the no name, never go for cheap and nail polish especially to fix transformers. The more expensive it is, the better. And it has to be an acrylic and at least has to have a one day drying period for it to actually have its full effect or no one will actually start uh, peeling off. Because you're bonding two acrylics together, so you want sometimes for them to c create a bond. Sorry I'm going into science for you guys, but I think you want to understand it's the best way to tighten joints. Don't go for super glue, it ruins it. Trust me. It ruined one of my animated. I'm sorry. I think I'm going to start crying. Nah, I'm joking. Okay, but for a scale comparison, I'm going to bring in the apparently expensive Megatron from a two-pack that came with the Megatron and the sums of Cybertron colored plastic Optimus Prime, but in a two-pack. Uh... There's, Megatron's a bit shorter, but that's also, right, let me see if I can get this thing leveled. Megatron's a bit shorter, but that's the size of the figure, and that was great on its own. Let me get something better. Ooh, I'll bring in his normal size kind of counterpart. Yeah. And he's a head taller. That's all I have to say. That's your Hasbro reduction. While they were wasting plastic on this, they could have made these better. Hasbro, stupid choices. But you know what? Overall, I might be giving it a lot of... A lot of bad things, but if you want this guy and you want the trailer for... Dark to the Moon. Uh, I'm pretty sure some Walmart still have them because they don't sell. Because they're so expensive. But if you're able to find it on clearance, I would go ahead and grab it. It's a great figure to own. It might be not one of my favorites. But it's a good mold. It's just this one reuse has its problem. Um, and you get a cool looking trailer you can put in your bumblebee egg look this guy stand to here goes in there that's that's how you can keep track of those guys having this trailer is a great way to keep track of your human alliance figures the human ones at least or you can just store them but they're not being displayed so this was AMBB Reviews, aka Chris bringing you Dark of the Moon movie trilogy, Optimus Prime with trailer. One more thing, in a yellow bubble, with like the make it local and uh, like it's screaming. It literally says with trailer. So I'm trying to, I think they were trying to say this was the whole selling gimmick to that. But I digress. See you next time.